Hello friends, in today's class, we are going to talk about augmented grammar. Using this, the bottom-up parser recognizes when to stop the parsing process. Welcome again and uh, the next uh, concept that we are learning here is uh, augmented grammar. Okay, so very, very simple concept. Uh, it's not as complicated as uh, the closer operation and then LR0 item, then go to. So here, uh, what, what is the concept says that if G is the grammar, if G is the grammar with the start symbol S in G, uh, then G dash, the augmented grammar for G, okay, is the grammar with new start symbol S dash and a production rule S dash derive S. Okay, so we are augmentation means adding something, okay, adding something new. So here we are adding something new and what we are new thing that we are adding, we are adding a new start symbol as dash, a name, it should not be as, as dash, it can be anything, uh, but we are adding a new start symbol, okay. And what we are more adding here is, is a production rule we are adding, okay, production rule. So that production rule is nothing but S dash derive S, okay. So that two things we are adding, new start symbol and a production rule. And we are calling this grammar as a uh, augmented gra grammar, G dash. What is the purpose? The purpose of this ad, uh, new starting production is to indicate the parser when it should start. Stop parsing and announce acceptance of input. Okay, so to indicate that now it's it's done, we have to stop the parsing. So when to stop the parsing? Okay, when to stop the parsing process? Stop parsing. So that answer is that if I give you a string of token W and that you successfully able to reduce to S, but that does not enough that how it will know that s is the not any other symbol but the start symbol to just uh, verify this condition another start symbol has been added and now the parsing process will stop when s will be reduced to s dash okay so one more one final reduction huh? you reduce w to s and then just one more step here that you finally reduce to s dash because this is added one because this is not a part of the grammar because is the added one when this reduction will occur compiler will come to know or parser will come to know that uh, this is the final reduction and we have to stop the parsing okay so that is the idea and uh, do not go by the syntax s and s dash Suppose I write a grammar over here as uh, S derive double A and A derive small a capital A and A derives B. Okay. So now I want to augment it. I want to do this. I want to find out this augmented grammar. So what I can do here, I can write here E derive S. Don't go by the syntax. And then I'll write the entire grammar as it is. So A A a derive small a capital A and finally A derive B. So I don't need to worry about it. This is my augmentation and now the parsing process will stop. When it will stop? When S will reduce to E. So it is not necessary, not necessary that you take the same S and S dash. You can take anything, does not matter. But this is a augmented grammar okay this is called as augmented grammar something is added okay so that is a very small topic and now we are ready for creation of lr0 collection we have seen each and every part we have seen go to we have already seen augmentation we have seen lr0 item and now we can have this collection that is called lr0 collection so that's all for this session. In the next section, in this next section, we will talk about creation of LR0 collection. Thank you.